What is up the world of the living? My name is Loy and welcome back to Astroneer. Friends, hi <laughs> Steve. I put him up there last episode, I never actually called out. Uh, but uh, we'll get back to you, Steve, in just a moment right now. My friends, allow me to just quickly announce that if in the middle of this Let's Play um, I suddenly disappear and am never heard from again, uh, please don't mind it. Uh, it's just that whenever I run this game, for whatever reason, the temperature of my GPU rises from like 30 to around 80 Celsius, and uh, that's just mildly alarming. <laughs> Anyway, 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 last episode we progressed quite a bit, actually. We got all the way to the centrifuge over here. And you know what? This centrifuge is great because it allows me to do stuff. And I know about you. I'm, I'm all about doing things. Doing things, being able to do stuff, actually super underrated. Yeah, uh, everybody loves it, but uh, nobody pays attention to it. And you need two things in this game to be able to do stuff that is power and resources and resources we shall definitely acquire but power oh power is an never-ending quest as far as i'm concerned and also just for fun this i'm gonna put my research chamber up here it's gonna be oh no wait, that's that, that's the smelter that's gonna be inconvenient for literally everyone involved including the research chamber I just want to do it in anyway. Boop. <laughs> Look at it. It's so happy out there. It's like a giant light bulb that doesn't actually produce any light. Uh, I need to actually connect it to electricity. Which is something I entirely forgot. Anyway. 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 Electricity. That's right. That's something that I wanted. And uh, I was pondering. I was pondering a lot about where are we going to generate power. On this let's play naturally naturally we do have our battery we do have our uh, solar panel but solar panels they have a very obvious weakness and that is they are only ever active during the daylight they will not produce power during the night time meanwhile do you see those white lines everywhere that's wind and wind is everywhere and everything and very very good and very very useful therefore we might be better off relying on the power of wind to pull us through. On top of that, top of that, if we go through all of this stuff, check this out. Solar is copper, but wind is glass. And a big solar, big solar, where is it? Wherever it is, is copper and glass. But medium wind turbine is a glass and ceramic. And ceramic? Ceramic is very generatable. Ceramic is incredibly generator. Ceramic is... Uh, can we please... Just... Yeah. Ceramic is essentially clay. Which we can produce six of at once. Meanwhile, copper we cannot farm this way whatsoever. Not copper, the, the other thing. Or is it copper? I don't know. Point being... Point being, we are way better off. We're, the wind is much more farmable, the wind turbines. So I decided that we will be pursuing exactly them. That means we'll be generating clay using the soil and we will be generating quartz using the soil. Now, there's plenty of quartz for glass in the undergrounds, but once again, I hate undergrounds and I don't want to go there. So <laughs> we will be for now sticking to the soil stuff. Um, sticking to soil in ourselves, and uh, yeah, luckily we just generated like a ton of resin, which we can use to create small canisters, and also luckily we have an enormous tunnel to dig out, which by the way also something I wanted to focus on, which I wanted to do very smartly. You see, we got this zinc thing, right, and we got these uh, modifiers for our thingy magic, for our vacuum cleaner. And it's pretty, pretty nice because we might want one of them to help us on our way to dig. Now, there are pretty nice uh, stuff, like terrain analyzer will allow us to paint uh, the terrain with particular color. Alignment mode will allow us to basically create squares more easily. 
Inhibitor mode is for digging out ores without disrupting the terrain. Narrow mode obviously makes it makes it smaller, wide mode makes it bigger, but boost mode, that's the one we're after, because that makes it dig faster, essentially. It also goes through power like a crazy person, but it's fine, it's fine. I'm okay wasting a little bit of electricity, especially since we are supposed to get a lot of it by the end of this quest. At last, at a thousand and over a thousand bytes, we have reached the moment of unlockage. Here we go, boost mod. Boost me up. No, that's the wrong one. I keep opening the wrong interfaces. I have no idea why. Okay, boost mod. And, uh, huh. All right, for the comparison, for the comparison, let's disengage boost mode and attach it to my inventory into my backpack. You can tell it's not activated because it doesn't have the green ring around the base of it. Let's see. Are you still? Uh, yep, that, that thing is still working, which is just great. Just planning grant. Let's see. Uh, how fast does a hole appear? Uh, but uh, yeah, pretty, pretty fast, pretty fast, pretty, pretty hole. Um, let's see now with the boost mode. How fast does this hole appear? I don't know. I don't know. It feels faster. Actually, it feels the same, but it probably is faster because, I mean, it gotta be. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, it definitely helps. Okay, scratch everything I said about the boost mod before. This here is actually very, very useful because the speed at which it digs regular terrain is not really noticeable, but it is very noticeable how faster how much faster the boost mod devours the core type of terrain. So like something, some rocky type of terrain, like a mountain or something. That is much faster. Like this is not the speed at which the regular thing would generally go for it. And hey, look, there's a cave. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about your cave. Not, not now, game. I'm trying to actually get like stay contained within the confines of a tunnel for now for once also i hope i did not dig in like deep into the mountain because that way i am not gonna i am not gonna get out of the hill which is ultimately what i'm trying to get i'm trying to dig myself out of the hill that i dig myself dug myself into and it looks like um yeah, I might be in the general right direction, I might be in the general wrong one. Hmm, quite upsetting. What's not upsetting is that I don't really care, because I boost, I put all of my inventory spots are filled with soil. I ma made myself a bunch of small canisters. And now those canisters will all be put into the centrifuge, and the centrifuge then will happily... Uh, happily convert them into resources that I actually need, which is quartz and the other one, you know, the one, the, the, the clay, yeah, that one. <laughs> which means that uh, all I'm doing right now is essentially just farming myself some more resources to later turn into wind. So all of this is just ultimately just a part of my convenient quest for electricity. Does it sound yet like I'm justifying my bad decisions? Because I definitely am. All right, the long tunnel of tunnelness is uh, more or less, you know, dug out. Well, most of it. Uh, it still is obviously up for expansion and I would love to have it much, much wider because, well, there are cars in the game. So eventually it would be nice to have a tunnel that I can drive through. But for, you know, just relatively effortless transportation between two spots of uh, places of landmarks. It is kind of alright. And it did score me a whole inventory full of full soil canisters. Well, yeah, you might see that some of them are not full right now, but trust me, I already converted like a full inventory into particularly quartz and particularly uh, what, what, what are the other two? Compound and uh, resin, those things. Yep, 
If you ever wondered what full inventory of canisters looks like in, uh, uh, you know, other materials, here it is. <laughs> An absolute flipping mess. And I love it. And it's great. I enjoy having things. Have you ever had things? Things are great. Uh, but also, I still need some uses for those things. So let me just quickly grab this one bit of compound. And I'll get myself a... not small generator, small printer is what we're after here. Small printer, because small printers on top of, you know, seeking up power, sucking up power, they do have an ability to create a particular material that I really, really want. Not a material, it's actually a thing. It's medium storage. And also medium platform and rover seat. Actually, this one, this one I will need. I will have to remember that. Yeah. Medium storage, two resins, and uh, please and thank you, because all of this stuff has to be stored somewhere. That's always going to be that wall, and uh, we're going to put it on top of this. Do I have any organic on me? I do not. Uh, we're going to put it on top of these platforms on a wall. So whenever I need materials, I'll just uh, pop one out. And that's not even the best part about them. The best part about this platform, uh, these medium storages, is that they can be auto-filled by particular devices. For example, the soil centrifuge just puts the can empty canisters on them. And if uh, right now I punch up some more quartz, then all of that quartz will automatically dispense onto this medium storage. Which then I'll just have to, dis uh, you know, pop off and uh, put on a wall. And everything's convenient, and everything's beautiful, and everything's fine, and I love it, and uh, that's more or less the plan. Now, I have not left myself any flipping soil to be converted into clay, to be smelted to ceramic. So I'll do that, off camera, right now. <laughs> and after I'm done, we're gonna embark on a giant crafting quest, and make as many, what you call it, as many wind turbines as there is, as we can, as we can afford. You see this white garbage in the air? The wind lines? You hear me, wind? I'll have you! I'll tame you by the end of this video! I shall become the master of you! Well, I did quite a bit of digging, like quite a bit of converting, quite a bit of centrifuging. We got right now. One, two, three, eight. 16, 32, 32 quads is what we have. And if all of that, all of that would be converted into glass and accounted for with clay, that would make us 32 flipping big spinny finning things, which is nice, which is nice, which is great. <laughs> you might think that that might be a little bit of an overkill considering that medium power sources seem to be generating just enough materials as it is, uh, just enough energy as it is. But, here's the thing, our problem is not lack of power generation, far from it. Our problem here, and uh, a problem that will only expand itself, is power generation and power storage. All the buffer we got is this tiny battery. So, in a perfect world, what you would do is you would have a battery that would uh, store energy, for example, during the daylight it is charged by all of the solar panels, and during the night time it is uh, providing energy to the base instead of the solar panels. But because that's not exactly an option due to the lack of lithium on this planet, I decided to try something different and create a little bit of a belt of sorts to provide consistent power uh, <laughs> to the base. And it's gonna sound stupid, like for the solar panels, that belt would have to be absolutely enormous. For solar panels to provide consistent coverage, I would have to create a belt going all around the planet. <laughs> Follow, so, so as the sun sets and goes up, across the planet, all of the solar panels are consistently being powered, following uh, the sun like a sunflower. And that sounds absolutely delightful, and I would love to do that. 
but I'm afraid we will just never have enough copper for that. Instead, we'll settle in for, uh, well, these things, which I should probably start smelting by now. So, uh, get here, get there, and get smelterated. And I'm gonna just block off this bit over here for uh, two. So, what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be getting not 32, mind you, but quite a lot of uh, the medium spinny things. And uh, as much as I would love to put them all in the same spot for, you know, maximum punch when our wind actually does blow there, that will not be the most efficient way of, of uh, placing them. The most efficient way would still be to place them in some sort of a, not belt, but a line at the very least. Because what we're after here is not wattage, it's the consistency. And the consistency will only be allowed if, while in some spot of the planet, in some spot of our grid, there is no wind in some other place, the wind is there. And the game, mind you, accounts for it. So, if you have yourself uh, what you call it? A uh, wind generator. It will not just randomly spin. It actually will track where the wind lines are appearing on the planet. I hope all of that made sense, because it sure actually does not to me. Now that I actually think about it, and uh, yeah, I might still think that I have disproportionate amount of quartz to the amount of well. Uh, clay, but you have to keep in mind that on top of the on top of the where where where, where are there? The, on top of the medium wind turbines, we would have to also afford other stuff. For example, like um, small wind turbine, which is only one glass, or or for two for two thousand bytes, I will probably be able to afford a small oxygen tank. Which I'll be able to craft, and uh, yeah, once I unlock it, this is basically our ticket to fr uh, freedom of movement on top of, uh, without of course using a vehicle, because oxygen tanks, extra oxygen tanks, will be absolutely great and super useful for just you know outer expeditions and returning back home. So that more or less is the plan, and yes, I did put more uh, platforms on the wall. I like my wall platforms. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't shame. All right, is the clay done? The clay is done. Um, <laughs> get me this thing smelted. In the meantime, I entirely forgot that I did not actually unlock this thing. I will need at least two more, uh, may possibly four. Two to four uh, research samples to actually be able to unlock that. So I'm gonna venture out into the woods. Things are looking optimistic, uh, stuff is coming up, bites are pouring in, I have another spare plant that I can just shove up there and uh, tell the thing to process it. And naturally, naturally, I made like so many small wind turbines, like check this out. This here is the big turbine that we found that actually reminded me about uh, them existing. And then the small wind turbines can be placed on the ground and they don't require any platforms, just like the small generators. Why is that very important? Well, that be that's because my idea will not work without quite a bit of coverage and uh, quite a bit of coverage is not gonna just randomly appear. The Medium generators I want to install require a platform and the platform cords They don't go for too long. They actually um, Yeah, see on this distance. I'm pretty sure it already. Yeah, it already doesn't reach so we are the step of these platforms Is actually incredibly small, which is why it's beneficial that we can basically create a platform out of nothing Just with the generators and then also they will still double as generator so what I want to do is I want to alterate like a platform and a, and a wind and a, and a turbine and a platform and a turbine and a platform and you get the point. And then all the platforms are gonna also have turbines on them. And I don't know if that is do doing any good because right now 
I can see that this one is spinning because there's wind, and the other ones are also spinning because there are wi there's wind. So, um, I'm pretty sure all of this distance garbage actually does not <laughs> flip and work. <laughs> uh, I know it works with the solars because I tried it before uh, in basically a creative mode. I did not try this one out, so I'm kind of might be just talking out of my butt. Point is, tab. This thing, medium wind turbine unlock, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be coming back and putting together quite a lot of these in just a moment. For now, I just wanted to install a bunch of these platforms. And can I just say how convenient it is that you have to unpack them like this? It is so, so very convenient. It is incredibly cool. They, you can basically carry a whole base inside of your inventory and if you go to other planets that is super useful because you will be able to just make your flipping own uh yeah put your entire base into your inventory fly off to another to outer space to another planet unpack out there make even more platforms go back it's just it sounds so very cool and so very, uh, so very progressive. Not progressive, what's the word? Modern and so very space. Which is like the best part about this game is how space it is. All right, let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six smelted clay, and we got one, two, three, four, five, almost <laughs> of this other thing. Uh, can we ask? No, wait. Let me, let me guess. It's it's the it's the small printer that makes them. Medium storage, medium wind turbine. Oh yeah, five of those. Please, and thank you. <sighs> this is gonna be so great once it actually is functional. Though again, I still I still doubt that we'll have like consistent coverage. Nothing's gonna beat the batteries. Y you always need the batteries to be able to comfortably craft stuff during the night time but i still am very much looking forward to it because well power systems i just love them in this game and i look forward to not being bound to the to, to having to do stuff during the day and avoiding night time a bit of experimentation and observation actually did prove that no you can actually have a moment where some of your network of turbines is active while the other one isn't and it just depends on the wind it's like where uh, anywhere the wind blows which doesn't really matter to me to me mama just yeah you get, you get the point and uh, therefore this is not entirely a waste of time we are working towards sustainability and also it's absolutely hilarious to have this sprawling of a network of just random garbage all right you here you uh, move tiny bit off away and uh tiny bit uh, back and uh and that is basically my life <laughs> that is basically my life for the nearest half an hour just setting this up by uh mildly adjusting everything left and right over and over and over and over again as if it matters all right and uh, you move off and you get here and you move uh, here and you this Nope, and you rotate. And yeah, that's better, but now you don't reach and that... I hate this so much right now! But it's worth it, because once it's all nice and orderly, orderly can you cut, just, just get into there? It will be absolutely beautiful, and it will provide energy to my base, which will allow us to grow at an exponential rate, just an absolutely exponential one. I love un I love unpacking stuff onto the panels in this game. It's just beautiful. And there we go. No lithium, no batteries, no nothing. Okay, one tiny, tiny battery, tiny accumulator. But I can just do this. And look, these ones are spinning. That one isn't. Those are not. So, eventually, essentially, we did add to the sustainability. I do feel like we did. And even if we didn't, it's just it's just beautiful to have all of these. Ah, I love systems. 
Now, if only my actual base was at all systemized and not this flipping mess of random resources laying everywhere. And robots, don't forget the robots. Now, that would be absolutely great. Ah, sigh. I will have to sort this out. And naturally, as soon as I stopped recording, I found another battery. Which is just a delight. It's it's great. It's absolutely great. I have the, I'm having the luckiest spawn ever with this thing. Not only do I f keep finding batteries everywhere, I also keep finding the wind turbines. <laughs> I found two more. Can you believe it? Two more wind turbines while looking for research objects. And you will be asking, wait, Zoe, why are you looking for research objects? Well. Because this is the best test of our new power grip that I can imagine. I crafted myself two more research chambers. Because <laughs> I know that they eat up electricity like crazy. So we're gonna just kinda boop. And uh, yeah, let's see. That's 23. Alright, great. That's 23. 23 is great. And that's 47. Ooh, getting getting warmer. And that's 70 bytes per minute. Eh, actually, not that impressive. Yeah, that's not the fastest fastest internet I had, but you know, still three times the three times the temp. <laughs> oh, I love it! 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 The tiny bit, still too small. And also, I can see, I can see you seeping it out of the battery, don't you think? But see, see, look at it. It goes up, boop, and it goes down. And it's like, boop. But now it's gonna go up again, because it's gonna, uh, the wind is gonna blow. Right? Right? Please, t pl please tell me that, oh, oh, it's, it's, it's below a half. It's below a half. Guys, can you like, can you... Stop sucking at that rate. Can you suck a little bit slower? All right, you know what? I'm 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 plugging in the second battery. <laughs> it's not gonna not gonna work. Not gonna work. Not gonna work. Not gonna work. Although, is it me or did it go, go slower? No, no, it's still ah. Yeah, as lucky as I am, it's still here and there, just gonna freeze up entirely because well, wind is not sun. The sun is always there. The sun is always there. The wind, not so much. Uh, but the idea of creating a giant belt of uh, solar panels does tickle me enough to maybe try it later into the game. For now, I'm just happy that uh, I have some sort of resource to last me during the night. Because the night in the night time, generally in Astroneer, I'm usually just stuck without any power and I have to wait it out. Is it me or... Yep, it's filling back in because the wheat is blowing. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! I just realized that there's probably like a weird astroneer altern alternative to load the chunks that is stopping the further generators from generating. Because like as I approach, they, stop sp they start spinning. Um, I'll have to look into that. I have to research. But I'm pretty sure that it kind of takes your base and loads it all at once. Because at one point, I really did create a solar panel, like a solar panel at one spot and half a planet away, the second solar panel. And I had the monitor and they worked together. So, I know, I know. Wait, 339 bytes per minute? Since when? <laughs> when did that happen? Ah! <coughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. That's it's more than I can handle. Quick. I need more researchy things. Oh my god, the things are unlocking as I speak. Oh dear, I can I can have a tractor. And that's going to be it for today's episode. I think we accomplished a lot. We got the tunnel. We got the rest of the stuff. We got a ton of materials made. Oh wow, I, you can you can tell the wind slowed down because it's now only 170. Only quote and quote 170. That's like so much more. And uh, now just to you know finish it off, we also got a tractor. 
which we apparently also need to charge. Um, my bad. Um, please charge <laughs> the tractor. <laughs> I really wanna. I really wanna end this episode by driving off. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Thank you. Wee! Oh my god, that is so cool. Uh, wind power, everyone. And hey, it doesn't ruin the environment as much as the rest uh, as the rest of the alternatives. So. It's a win-win-win situation! Ah, and thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been Slow XP, this has been Astronir. I got a tractor to be continued. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>